Hello again. So for this week's module, we're going to be looking at Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey, or what is also referred to as the monomyth. You may already be familiar with this, um, but we're going to be exploring this deeply. And also we're going to be making connections to the hero's journey throughout the semester um, to many of our readings. So it's good to have a foundational understanding of this. So the first thing I want to call your attention to is Joseph Campbell. Um, he was, he's dead now, uh, but he was a scholar who noticed patterns in mythology, right? He studied mythology and he started noticing certain patterns that kind of cross through time, different time periods, and it also crossed through different cultures. And these patterns continue to repeat themselves. And it was um, something that kind of speaks to humanity. Why, why do we like seeing this story being told over and over again? It doesn't seem to be only related to culture. It, it just seems to be something that humans overall enjoy. We'll get into that a little bit deeper um, with some examples. And then there is this very long video recording session um, with Bill Moyers. They put this together. I don't even know how many DVDs there are. There's many hours uh, of um, Joseph Campbell having an interview with Bill Moyers uh, and going over very much in depth into mythology. And so I know that uh, Montclair's library does have all of the video recordings. Um, so if you ever want to get started on watching them, you certainly can. Uh, for our purposes, we're only going to be looking at one of the videos, which is focused specifically on the hero's journey. And you'll find that here in, in the module. Um, so I also will have um, a little uh, supplementary kind of videos and video links for you. So for this module, we're only going to be um, doing video viewings on the hero's journey. There is no specific readings for you this week, and you're going to be then writing an assignment related to the hero's journey. So let's take a look here. Um, so the videos are going to go into much more depth than this. I'm just giving a very brief overview of some contemporary ideas behind uh, a focus of the hero's journey. So be sure to make sure you watch the videos all the way through because I'm not going to go into depth in this lecture. So we're familiar with the hero's journey um, with contemporary um, stories that are being told. Uh, the most famous one is the Star Wars one because uh, George Lucas, he purposely set or wrote uh, a Star Wars uh, according to the monomyth, the hero's journey. Uh, he had read um, about it and he, um, he said, well, this is something that works. And so he wrote his story that mirrors it. And then later on, Joseph Campbell and George Lucas became pretty good friends. Uh, so what's interesting, George Lucas was really smart because he was correct, is he, he said, I'm going to model my story onto the monomyth. And it seems that this is something that reverberates throughout uh, human history. And we all know the billionaire that George Lucas became, right? So he took, he takes the hero. You, you can see here, just because I contrasted it with some, you know, other heroes that we've seen lately. So we have um, Luke Skywalker is going to be the hero. He's going to be the young orphaned boy. Um, and he's going to be called onto this, this journey. And I just kind of put together 
mash together uh, female male friends. These are usually the really close friends that surround the hero, as long also along with the princess figure. Um, and then we also have the sidekicks. They're usually more of the comedic effect. So you have his, his close friends that help him along the journey, but then you will also start seeing some more of the minor characters often played up for, for laughs. Always the uh, hero is going to have a specific mentor. This mentor is often going to be an old, wizened man. Uh, very often has the wizard archetype, you know, the long flowing beard and the staff. Um, or, you know, in the case of Obi-Wan Kenobi, what does he have? Right? He has the lightsaber. Uh, and then we also are going to have the ultimate enemy that the hero has to face. Um, in this case, Darth Vader. And the twist of the story for that is, of course, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. Hope I didn't spoil that for you. So we can start to see some similarities with, with these, right? So we have Luke Skywalker, young orphaned boy. Harry Potter, also young orphaned boy. Frodo was also a young orphaned boy. I'll interject here. I can't really think of of a, a girl that follows this, but maybe you will. So so let me know. So then you see the f the male and female uh, friends. We have Han Solo, Princess Leia, Ron and Hermione. Um, the really close friend of Frodo's is Samwise Gamgee, etc. Right. The sidekicks told for comedic effect, the robots, the Weasley twins, Pip and Mary, etc. You notice that these mentors are all the, the wizard mentor archetypes and then the ultimate um, enemy. So I just wanted to show that a brief little, in, you know, uh, overview of the monomyth and some ways that we interact with it um, in modern storytelling. Let's take a look at this overall. Here is a simplified hero's journey in this cute little map. So we're going to start here. This is where the hero starts, right? It's the ordinary world, and this is everything's the way, the reality that they perceive it to be. Then something happens where they get the call to change. They have to go on this journey. They, ha they, they get a pull to uh, step in, in another direction. So Harry Potter's, you know, this young orphan boy living under the stairs with his aunt and uncle, and the call comes. Uh, he really is actually a wizard and needs to go to Hogsworth, right? Sometimes there's going to be the refusal of the call. Uh, this would be something like, um, I can't believe this. Are, are you serious? This can't be. Um, then you have the mentor step in and try to say, yeah, come on, you need to go on this journey, etc. You can you can see that the hero then crosses the line, starts the journey. This is where all the plot happens, the trials, the enemies, facing the ultimate enemy, um, the journey to a changed new perspective, and of course the hero returns home. In one way or the other, the hero is going to return home. Again, when you watch the videos, you'll see uh, this in more depth. So what is a hero? You can ask yourself this. Uh, usually we're going to be uh, viewing stories of a hero. It's somebody who is out of the normal range of achievement. That's why we want to look at that story. It's somebody who is bigger and larger than life. Um, we also see that at the end, this hero is going to have sacrificed himself. Um, the sacrifice doesn't necessarily mean they sacrifice their lives, though sometimes they do. But something very essential about them has been sacrificed. Um, Luke Skywalker, um, well, his hand got cut off, right? Uh, Harry Potter did sacrifice his life. That's another spoiler, right? But of course, it's Harry Potter, so don't worry about it. Um, so we, that's what we see overall. The hero has to be somebody that's bigger than us, and the hero has to go on these adventures, and the hero also must have some kind of sacrifice towards them. This is kind of what makes up our, our hero archetype. 
And I'm just showing you this because you look at the Odyssey and you can see that the Odyssey is also following the hero's journey. Here's another little map. Um, this is again the short version, the eight step transformation. Joseph Campbell has, he went into uh, very specific depth with the hero's journey. Um, but we only look at kind of the top level stuff. So you can see here, we have Odysseus's journey. He has the call, which is where he um, goes away to war, the threshold, uh, where he's going to move into this other world, which is when he um, starts his adventure because of what happens with the Cyclops. And then there's all of these different things. Uh, not all of this is, is read by us, but, um, you know, he has all these different challenges. He's an underworld trip, etc. And then he returns. He returns with his gift, 20 years of earned wisdom, possibly. So anyway, just to make a connection to one of our readings, but also to give you a general overview of what the hero's journey is, what you would want to do is make sure that you view the full uh, video where Bill Moyers is interviewing um, Joseph Campbell about specifically the hero's journey. And then there's also some other supplementary material that would help you understand it a little bit more. Okay, thanks.